There's always good stuff to watch all year long, but sometimes you get a saturated season of television that causes good, fun shows to just fall under the cracks. This fall anime season is stacked with great content for all. I could tell you about shows like Chainsaw Man, Bleach, Spy Family, Mob Psycho 100 Season 3, but I'm pretty sure you're already watching those. You can't escape the hype of these juggernauts. And that's great, more power to them. But there's a lot of content out there that you might be missing. I try to watch as many shows as possible so that I can review the season as it ends. But I'm here to sort out all these things and give you guys five shows to watch if Chainsaw Man, Bleach, and more aren't really your thing. Other anime with great stories, fun characters, and neat artwork. Akiva Made War, animated by PA Works, is pure insanity and I am here for it. In this story, maids and Akihabara are serious business, worth a dying for even. Enter Nagomi Wahira as she moves to the big city for a chance to join a maid cafe, landing what seems like a dream job at the pig hut and getting to know her co-workers, Nagomi will discover not everything is as it seems amid the maid cafes of Akihabara. Listen, the less I tell you, the more you're gonna love this series. I don't want to ruin the excitement of the chaos that is this show. Unlike anything I've experienced in a while, Akiba Maid War is a mashup of excess otaku culture, maids, and even yakuza and exploitation films. PA Works is known to shake things up and create original productions, and this is easily one of their most creatives. The violence shown may be a bit much for some, but if if you don't mind it, you're in for a treat. Fun characters, over the top action, and great comedic timing. Highly recommend Akiba Made War. Reincarnated as a sword, animated by C2C Studio, Dark Fantasy meets Isekai, and Cat Girls. But this time it actually works. There are always Isekai shows to watch each season. Some I recommend, others I avoid like the freaking plague. Thankfully, this time around, this show, Reincarnated as a Sword, is surprisingly fun. The story shakes things up by having one of its lead characters reincarnate as a sentient sword. Obviously, there would be limitations to what you can do if it was just a sword, but the story quickly lets us know that his destiny is to provide help and guidance to Fran, a desperate cat girl fleeing slave traders. She is just a bundle of joy and wholesomeness. I love that character. She wants to be strong and forge a better life for herself. Now, as master and student, they will start an epic journey to become stronger and protect the innocent. As wacky as all that sounds, it works surprisingly well. The relationship between master and student is the star of the show, for sure. This master sword is now teaching Fran and making her a better cat person. Also noteworthy is the action. I was really taken aback by the gory violence. As Fran gets stronger, she will do what it takes to defeat the enemy in all its violent glory. If you want a nice shake-up on your dark fantasy or isekai, look no further. Reincarnated as a sword is as whole wholesome as it is badass. Urusei Yatsura, one of the seminal works from Rumiko Takahashi, has gotten a new reboot. Beautifully crafted by the folks at David Production, Lum is back to cause more chaos and mayhem as she lands on Earth with the Oni aliens. Determined to enslave humanity, the Oni select the unlucky, unapologetically lecherous Ataru Moroboshi as humanity's last hope for survival. If he is able to defeat Lum in a game of tag, Earth is saved. Long story short, our lovable alien takes a liking to Ataru, which sets the stage for a series that chronicles the misadventures of these two stubborn teenagers, along with an entourage of weird characters. Mostly adapting select chapters of the beloved manga, this new Urusei Yatsura is brimming with charm and a heck of a color palette. I absolutely love the colors on this show. David Production went all out for this one, faithfully capturing Takahashi's distinct art style 
but bringing it to modern audiences. If you want some crazy slapstick humor with a whole roster of distinct crazy characters, look no further than the 2022 version of Urusei Yatsura. Bochi the Rock. Cloverworks returns with a new anime adaptation. Bochi tells the story of Hitori Goto, a high school girl that learns to play the guitar because she dreams of being in a band. Problem is, she's so shy that she hasn't made a single friend. That starts to change when she meets Nijika, a drummer looking for a guitarist for her band. Charming as hell, Bochi the Rock is pure delight. Never have I related to a character so much as Hitori. While not as extreme, I feel her struggle with anxiety, shyness, and just difficulties in social interactions, so I find myself constantly rooting for her to succeed. Oh, and the music is pretty great too. This is a music series after all. Wonderfully animated with great characters and a wholesome plot, I highly recommend Bochi the Rock. And now, I know what you're thinking, a Gundam series on these type of videos? Well, yeah. This season has a lot to offer, but I'm afraid the majority of watchers will be hyper-focused on things like Chainsaw Man and The Return of Bleach to take notice that there's a new Gundam anime out. Fortunately for all, Mobile Suit Gundam The Witch from Mercury is a great fresh start for anyone to enjoy. Like many modern Gundam series, this is its own thing in its own universe. There's no need to worry about the Universal Century continuity, about catching up with previous Gundam series. You can just enjoy this excellent series with a fantastic prologue and dive right in into the charming kick-ass take on the legendary franchise. Witch from Mercury throws us in an era with multitude of corporations have entered space and build a huge economic system. One lone girl from the remote planet Mercury transfers to the Astikasia School of Technology run by the Benaret Group who which dominates the mobile suit industry. Suleta Mercury breaks the mold by being the first female Gundam protagonist. She's pure of heart, naive, but a good pilot and wonderfully wholesome. The animation is great as usual. When it comes to this franchise, Sunrise always treats Mobile Suit Gundam shows with a little extra care. The action is really well choreographed, the setting is interesting, the politics and the industry of space and all that stuff, as well as dealing with genetic enhancements and the morals behind it, you name it, the show has a little bit of everything. Yet Witch from Mercury also finds the time to introduce new elements, such as the school and the duels that take place within it, and of course with the main character as she tries to get accustomed to school and having new friends, and I'm pretty sure that by by the end of it they're gonna get thrown into this massive war and there will be casualties and I'll be sad but hey it's Gundam it's awesome it's badass you should check it out so there you have it, five shows to not miss out on. I know some of them are on High Dive and others on Crunchyroll, so you can check them out and geek out about new shows. So if you've seen episodes for the shows that I mentioned in this video, let me know in the comments section down below. And if you haven't, let me know what are some of your favorite ongoing series right now that you want me to check out and talk about on this channel. So that's about it. Thank you everybody for tuning in. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing to We Can Geek Them. I truly do appreciate it. I do content like this talking about all the seasonal anime and all the manga that I'm reading. Thank you everybody. Stay safe. God bless. I will catch all of you on our next video. Thank you.